compared to other industries, um, we are probably a few years behind. Uh, however, we've seen, I think we've seen some tremendous developments in the last several, you know, at least 12 to 18 months. Um, there's a site, doseofdigital.com, if you ever want to go check out just how the volume of those developments and be able to see how many companies have Twitter accounts and Facebook accounts and YouTube channels and you know it's debatable how many of those are being used in the true sense of social media but there's at least you know several hundred examples of companies that have in some way either tried to leverage what's considered a social media tool or tried to start a two-way dialogue albeit somewhat refrained maybe or controlled so we are behind, but certainly the regulations are the regulations, and as we all know, those regulations being in a, in a time of shift right now, I think there's an element of, I don't want to call it apprehension because that's obvious, uh, but also cautiousness, just being really, again, thoughtful about how is it that we really need to behave. And also, you know, a big question that we ask ourselves is what's our rightful role? What's the rightful role of our client in social media, of their products in social media. Because first of all, it changes population to population, but it's also, do you really belong? I mean, do, you know, I've heard a, a patient say, look, I don't care how many fans you have on your Facebook page, I want your product to help me. So we need to contend with the fact that we may not, we may not just get to be the Coca-Cola of social media and have just cool fun games and you know mash up your own car but is that really what we should be doing and is that our rightful role and are we really helping people at the end of the day I mean it is all about the patient and so if we start with that lens I think a lot of things start to fall into place because when somebody says hey I want a Twitter strategy or social I just need my social media strategy or what soon everybody's gonna be saying is a mobile strategy or an iPad strategy I mean, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, I think you would agree. You probably hear that all the time and you go, really? Okay, what are you trying to do and who are you trying to do it for? And you know, getting back to the, what you said about success, and we need to take a step back. And these are questions we've been dealing with since the beginning of marketing was possible is, you know, it's the same for everything. It's like, what were your objectives? What were you trying to do? We can measure success based on those objectives, not based on necessarily a script, but based on what did we set out to do? Was it education? Okay, if it's education, where do they need it? And what channels does it make the most sense? How are we going to measure that? And what is our target? So we know ROI should be really relative to our goal, not relative to the dollar. Because in our space where we don't have that direct tie to, we're not an e-commerce play, we're not selling directly to the consumer. We're really trying to empower the patient, help the, you know, help the provider, and have a meaningful conversation about a condition or a drug. Our job is really to set, the, you know, to set the stage for that conversation. And if we've done that, we've done our job. And so we should be measuring based on you know, the, the elements that make up what does a good stage look like for that patient, for that disease, et cetera.